knows what I'd be without you. Do, 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 do. Get up. Get up. This thing is royally kicking my ass. Where is she? Down. What am I? My God, is she the source of my power? But what is she? Alive or dead? Why do you ask what? When the delicious question is when. The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was, what reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us, Holly, you say. Lady Comstock exists across time. She's both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension is a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. All right, follow her. Let's follow her. And they're gone again. Of course they are. And I'm stuck on something. Where are those footprints? Where those footprints go? She goes to unfinished business? Where'd she go? It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, they're sarcastic. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of like them. There's something off about Lady Comstock. Yeah. I notice. No, you don't understand. She... she doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I'm just... I'm not so sure it was her. Unfinished business. Okay, so she went this way. Or dead fool. That's the market district. Burning corpses. Always a delightful thing to loot. I think we're full up on everything. Are those friends or foes? They are foes. risk of death or serious injury. Oh, you teach labs. All right. Let's see what this place has in it. Seems easy enough. Yours. You hold on to this. Here you go. Thanks for the money. Bring out the shotgun. Blood. What is going on in here? Just giant things. That's the Uber tear. It's a tear. There's something in there. Should I open it? 
What could possibly go wrong? I mean, we've only, you know, upset the balance of the space-time continuum two or three times already. Why not do it again? Comstock seems to have been made sterile by simple exposure to our contraption. A theory. Just as sexual reproduction can de-emphasize the traits of each parent, so goes the effect of multiple realities on our own. Your traits dissipate until they become unrecognizable or cease to exist. That didn't make much sense. Man, all this multiple reality time crossing thing is making my head hurt. Uh, you know what? We're gonna grab another shield one. Just what the doctor ordered. In this oh, the cabinet. Just some money. All right, let's look, so let's see what this tear is down here. See if it answers any of our questions. All right, Elizabeth, let's do it. You are. That's my mother. I assure you, madam, my sexual interest in your dear prophet is non-existent. Madam Lutess. Furthermore, Lutess. Okay, I'm gonna remember that. whatever Comstock did to her. Lady Comstock seems to believe the child is a What did you mean before when you said Lady Comstock didn't belong here? She's almost feral. It's like she's a reflection of... Um, I don't know. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna re-listen to that because it kind of got interrupted. Comstock seems to believe the child is a result of some errant act of carnality between myself and her beloved prophet. <laughs> I told the poor woman the truth, that the child was a product of our little contraption, but I think she found that less believable than her delusion. So, them warping time and space is what created Elizabeth? So that kind of gets rid of my she's Lady Comstock theory. At least, you know, right now it does. The footprints leave up, lead up here? No, it's just extra lock. exploration. No problem. It's done. Alright, what's in here? See some money. There we go. That's always worth it. Uh, nope. We don't, we don't need to equip that one, but it might be nifty to have. There was a hot dog in a box of almonds. And I'm drunk off street booze. Nice. Canned meats. What the hell's going on over here? So she's kind of nuts. Where are those foot footprints at? Okay, so there's another one over this way. Did I? Oh shit. Bronco? Bronco. And let's see if we can do this. Bye bye. That was kind of awesome. Celsius canned meats. <coughs> what 
with this shoe shine. Money. Some locks, lock picks. Book. A code book. I wonder where the cipher is. Badge, purse. Oh, that water was actually already running. Elizabeth? I can do that. Thank you very much. There. All the money. Hold on to this. You must have found something I missed. Thank you very much. Financial district. Locked. Elizabeth. On it. So her footprints are heading over this way. Well, that was not a very effective ambulance. Oh, any dudes? I don't see any dudes. Of course, I've missed dudes before. I think we already killed everything in here. Where's she leading us? Can I upgrade any of my vigors? Undertow boost, sin for less. Yeah, sure, we'll get that one. Come on. Arms do any arm stuff we can upgrade? Nope, nothing. I think we're pretty upgrade on the two we use mostly anyway. Where's she leading us? Towers, we're back here. What's back here? She's still leading us down this way. I guess we're back up to here. Where's she leading us? And are we gonna have to fight her again? Because that fight was kind of a pain in the ass. A photo studio. Elizabeth. Child's play. Man, I do not like the sight of this whole Yours. burning city. Thank you. We'll loot everything and then we'll open the chair. I found some money. Want it? Always. Hmm. Have your photo taken here. That would be obvious since this is in fact a photo studio. Development room. All right, let's open this tear up and see what they say. But you two are dead. I took your view for a photo. Yes, I made an absolute hash of it. One doesn't expect a picture of one's cause. To come across so lifelessly. I don't think that's the real Lady Comstock. I think she's... I think she's a combination of herself and my feelings towards her. What do you mean? I'm just yeah, so really. angry at her and, and at my father. I think she's her, but she's also partly me. 
I'm not even sure I understand it myself. Well, let's hear what this has to say. That's insanity. What proof would you have that Mr. Fink would hurt the Lutesses? The Lutesses told me. The Lutesses? When? Yesterday. Yesterday morning. Rupert! They've been dead these seven days. Hmm. We more info on this one. All right, where are the footsteps leading us now? Did they just stop here? Where are they going now? Up the stairs? Back down here. Where are we going down here? That big building? Emporia Towers? You know, those things move like that. It keeps freaking me out. I'm thinking it's someone coming around the corner. RPG ammo, still don't need that. Thanks, ghostly footprints. Supposed to be headed. Well, I guess we're going back this way. Where's it telling us to go now? I guess back on here. We're we heading back to the market district. Heading up to the bank. You can oh shit, you again. Who are you? What do I have selected? Can I bucket? Can I? There we go. Oh, I love this. This is this is such an overpowered tower. Yeah, shut up. A little busy right now. Not all of them. And he's down. So they were all hiding in the bank. Here's some cash. You rock hardcore as always, Elizabeth. I guess we're going in here now. You know, you already got a whole city worshipping you. Do you really need to have a bank named after you, too? What was that? going on now? Opening day. Okay, we already saw those ones. Searching the garbage cans. Really? We gotta go in the elevator with the creepy dead people? I guess we're going in the elevator with the creepy dead people. 